with a valuable away win in the Vodacom... Finance from Absa. Going the extra mile to get you financed. To the special vehicle category of the APSA Off-Road Championship. And Motorite will again be challenging for the championship. After a rather disappointing 2008 season, which started with the national champ Evan Hutchinson's car burning to cinders in the very first race of the season in Darling in the Western Cape. And their season just did not improve. The diminutive team manager has big plans for the silver and black outfit and they're also having a go in the four-wheel drive Class A sector. The former champion is a very determined character at the best of times and he'll want the team to perform. Yeah, well, first of all, we are fortunate enough to have the, the full support from Motorrad again for the 2009 season. And um, after uh, our last season, we decided to make some changes. I believe we got to the end of, 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 the, of the development stages we could get with a two-wheel drive car. And uh, Mark Corbett uh, built a four-wheel drive car last year, and we thought that might be the new direction to pursue. So, um, some discussions with our technical manager, Jim Bergman, we came up with a plan to build a four-wheel drive car for, the, for Class A for this year. Um, which we've done, we've pretty much finished, we'll be done in about a day or two. We've done a little bit of testing, it all seems positive. Um, in theory, it's all going to work. We've just got to put it all into practice. How will you utilise all those horses with the new 4x4 system? And what are your thoughts on the restrictions? We, we, we decided, obviously, to go for four-wheel drive. So we, know that we, don't, we had all the horsepower uh, in the world in our two-wheel drive cars. We just couldn't use it. So we decided to try and harness that horsepower a little bit better and try and get the power to the ground. Uh, therefore, we've used a, a four-wheel drive system. So we're still using the Chev V8 motor, but just a much smaller one with a lot less power. Um, we've also got some restrictions on us with the four-wheel drive. So we've got a smaller restrictor, which will also limit the horsepower. Um, and then the drive train is the same drive train they've been running in the SPs, which is tried and tested. Um, a lot of the stuff is locally produced. Um, a whole lot more of this car is being produced locally, so uh, meant to make it a little bit more affordable. And in the running of the year, uh, the cost of running it for the year will be a lot, a lot more affordable. So. Um, Basic four-wheel drive with the same drive train as, as the SPs uh, with a slightly different engine and um, that's pretty much it. You know, our weight distribution is slightly different because we don't have to fall into the regulations of the, of the bucky. Um, but we have been limited on, on our wheel travel and weight and some other um, aspects. Yeah. Of course, these regulations stand for all the competitors in the class, but there are several new amazing innovations that come along and astound every year. The new 4x4 development and its success depends on the motorite results and, of course, the pioneer in this regard. However, with the Century Property Development driver Mark Corbett, 2008 is a season best forgotten. The brand new car, the CR1, never lived up to its pre-season billing, and he and his co-driver Rudy Balzar never got it to the line in one piece. They aim to write that this year, but keep in mind that the new changes take a time to sort out, some longer than others. Colin Matthews and Alan Smith flew the flag for Century High and well all season long. And, but for Lady Luck turning her fickle back on them once or twice, they may have already downed a pint in celebration of a victory or two. In other teams, there are one or two changes due to the defections. Gary Gillingham lines up for the turquoise and white branded Atlas Copco team, and his experience will be invaluable to them. The father and son combination of Nick and Ryan Harper has stayed put and they'll be looking to get back their winning ways. Watch them this year for the overall title. Nick is a serious fitness fanatic and with son Ryan in there who is a motorbike racer, they know how to read the terrain and get the most out of it. As for Shamir Varayawa and his navigator Siegfried Rousseau, there's the challenge of maintaining the standard they set last year when they were oh so close and yet so far. However, they win over 1,000 Ks in the Botswana Desert Race, provided a load of confidence, and they'll still be feeding off that. For Michael Whitehouse and his co-driver Matthew Carson, it was also a season in which the winning door could so easily have opened, but it slammed shut at just the wrong time. This time, they would want to drive through. The brothers White, that's Gary and David, will again fire the Ruricon flag in Class P, where they will be hard to beat. Last season was a coming of age for them, and their partnership is surely set to blossom this year. Nardis Alberts is another man with loads of experience, and the red wraps up and also knows its way to a win when it has to. 
Reigning champion Karl Heinz and Quinton Sulwald will be looking for back-to-back -back titles in their Sulwald racing bat. And don't put it past them for a second. The other Sulwald racing entry will see Hermann Sulwald teaming up with his son Vickard, thus making it a real family affair for the Palabora squad. And then there's the talented Aitang Makakanene, and he gets a chance with Jeff Minnett in their porter. They'll be a handful once they get car settings right and they get used to each other in the cockpit. Both driver and nav know that the 2009 season will be a watershed one in which they'll have to produce the goods. And in Class P, the return to racing of one of the stalwarts, John Weir Smith, is also being awaited with anticipation. He should be good value for money. The Sulvolds, that's Collie and Quinton, had been ultra steady last year with one win at the start of the season in the Eastern Cape over 400 Ks. And then a line finish in every one of the eight races in 08. You can bet your bottom dollar they'll be good for the same this time round. And then don't forget Herman and his son Wickard, who will be desperate to challenge for the Class A title themselves at the end of the eight race season, ending in the Michalisburg. The Atlas Copco team will be spearheaded by Nick and Ryan Harper in a Spec 4 bat. They have the makings of a championship winning outfit, and they've been close before. They team up with Gary Gillingham and Danny Stassen, who'll be out in their previous bat. The Bertolt from Milan Porter stays in the Atlas Copco fold, and the car has been taken over by newcomers Jimmy Zahos and Stefan Kutsir, who are unknown entities at this stage, but this team has been known to spring a few surprises before already. With Terence Marsh and Peter Groenewald stepping out of the special vehicle class and into the productions, the Regent Racing Challenge is in the hands of Mike Whitehouse and Matthew Carlson. This pairing has delivered one or two very impressive displays last season and could be serious 2009 championship challenges. And if Lady Luck smiles upon them, Shamir Variawa and Siegfried Rousseau should again be amongst the title challengers in the big total porter. They tasted victory twice last year and only missed out on the overall battle on the RFS Mahalis 400, the last race of the season after mechanical trouble. Former national champion Evan Hutchison is again in car with the highly experienced Achim Bergman in their all-new motorite bat 4x4. After last season, they'll be in a mean mood and ready to right the wrongs of 08. While well, Mark Corbett and Balzai in their revolutionary century racing CR1 too will be hoping for better results this year. Both crews will be out in locally developed four-wheel drive cars with a black and silver motorite special making its debut in the Western Cape. Corbett and Belza never finished a race last season, but their car showed plenty of potential and they'll be hoping for a lot more reliability this time out. Colin Matthews and Alan Smith will also be out in the century racing bat and will be looking to finally crack an elusive win. Former champion Ateng Machechenene and Jeff Minnett in their all-white porter will also be hoping for improved reliability this season, and their combination could just spark a winning spree. While well, John Moore and his navigator Tom Clarson in the smart-looking free spirit also came up with a couple of impressive performances last season. They built up loads of valuable experience. Look for them to come through. Veteran Nardis Alberts returns with Adri Roots calling the race notes for him. They're in the big red and impressive sounding raps a bat. Surely they're bound to see the checkered flag first this year. Naim Mosaji will again be out and about in the canary yellow tyre rack porter. He's consistent and could get the job done. On the Class B front, Bez Besaidnote in his blue and silver Denko bat will be hoping history repeats itself. He won last year and at home in the Western Cape, as well as being partnered by Sun Dion, this year will fancy his chances of a repeat result. With the reigning Class B champ Lodebrain having moved to the production car category, this opens up the championship. Derek de Toy together with Ian Pinar in their orange tree development bat are also in with a shot. While John Telford and Crisco Fulskenk in the smart-looking red and black calcimite bat will fancy their chances too. And don't forget about Katlejo Makinete paired with Victor Ncheke in their Zarko. Simon Beckett and Steve Harris in the Century Racing Bat could also be consistent frontrunners in a class that this season is without former champion Jan Cry and co-drivers champ Tito Furcht. Another former Class B champion, Ernest Corbett and Warwick Horsen, also in a Century Racing CR2, are back in action after a lengthy layoff and will turn out in Class P. This pair find themselves smack in the middle of a class that's going to be ultra competitive this season. The reigning champions in Class P are Johan and Etienne Besaidnot, and they'll be back in their Adenko bat, but this category also has some serious contenders. The siblings, David and Gary White, in their very reliable Ruhrcon bat, tasted victory in 08, and we think they've grown rather fond of the lingering aftertaste on the palate, wanting more. And 
Then there's that talented and intense KwaZulu-Natal star Don Thompson in his Zarko. He surprised a lot of people last year and would want to do it all again in 09. And if you're looking for experience, former champions Richard Schilling and Chris Davies team up in the Ace Co RS. In the previous season, they were just not consistent and will be hoping for more of it this time around. The long-awaited return to the off-road racing seen by John Weir Smith and Richard Carolyn could also throw the proverbial cat amongst the Class P pigeons. Bodo Bertolt, another veteran racer and father of Gary, will also be out in Class P in a new Atlas Copco car. Bertolt will again be partnered by Philip Hoselman. The opening round of the 2009 season.